guys, Fubbleweeky here today and welcome back to Airport CEO. Uh, last time we got in some stores, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got some bathrooms in there, there's a lot of people waiting around at the airport. I think what I might do as well, uh, so all these flights are coming in. Uh, no, we'll schedule some stuff at the end of the day for tomorrow. Uh, we need to fix this store here though, where it's like not... We, let's see what happens if we just do a door, right? Maybe... Oh, you know what? No, not even a door, just demolish the wall. Cause then they can get through, right? I think someone left from there and went all the way around, hopefully. Uh, oh, yep, there we go. Wonderful. And then, can we get rid of these? Please? Please? And that one there. Are they gonna be demolished? I don't know, these guys are just kind of standing there. Oh, and well, no, there we go! <gasps> it's working. Wonderful. All right, good. I think that's fine. All right, I'll put a wall back. Sorry about that, guys. And then we're gonna go for areas. We're gonna go for a shop. I oh, don't know, food. This is a food store. And then we'll see if we can get a bigger, like, food place, too. Um, I'm gonna wait till they build that wall, though, before I open this up. We need more janitors. They don't seem to be able to keep up at all, either. Is that built? I can't even... Maybe it is. I think it, I think it is built. Sign a contract. All right, who can we get in here? You, you... So who pays more? 78, 88. You pay 88. Cranes Burgers. Days 5, hours 2. See, you just don't open very much though. That's the weird thing. Hours 10 for the Hilltop Cafe though. Alright, let's get you guys in. So I guess someone will show up for that. Let's get a bigger, like, cafe or something over here. Because we have a huge shop there, which is ridiculous by the way. What's the, um, I wonder what the biggest food place we can get is. I guess what we'll do for now, let's just go... 21 by 7. Let's see what we can get in that. Sign a contract. Uh, so we get three star food places. We can get so we need cafe fridge six, cafe counter, and that's huge. We can reduce the size of a lot. So the large oh no, uh, no, it's not huge. No, it, it that will be huge, but we don't have enough room. Sorry, sorry, I was looking at it the wrong way. So we need at least two hundred. Well, we could do. Hang on, which well, you know what? What pays the most? Let's just go for that. Two nine five, uh, two nine two five. I think is the most. Yeah. So we want to go for these guys. Uh. So 225 meters, let's get some more room. Okay, you know what, we need to delete that first. We'll take it all the way to the end, maybe. Uh, oh, actually, what would it be? So 200 and... Times 7, maybe just like... Damn, that's big enough? That's probably not, that's about the same size, isn't it? Oh, I can get bigger places now, too. Oh, man. Damn it. <laughs> now I want to get one of these. <laughs> you know what, okay, here's what we'll do. <laughs> Instead of, uh, let's just, we'll fill in the rest of this space back here with, uh... Oh, that, was, that wasn't a food place, that was a shop. I did the wrong thing anyway. Let's just fill in this whole section there. And we'll see what we can fit in there. Alright, so we can fit those guys in. Perfect. Oh, it's just big enough. It's just a little bit bigger. So we only need six count, uh, cafe fridges and a cafe counter. It's kind of ridiculous that that's all you need. So let's do that. Uh, fridge display. Okay, let's get a fridge display here. Six of them, I guess. One, two, three, four, whoops, four, five, six. I don't know. See, maybe go in there. No, that doesn't make sense. Go in here. Well, so four, five, uh, I'll do seven just so it's sort of even. So you sort of walk in here or something. I don't know if there needs to be room behind there. That's, whoa. Oh my god, you can rotate? Oh, oh my god. I've just found that out now. That's blowing my mind. Just because you can't do that in like Prison Architect. <laughs> wow, alright, cool. Uh, I don't know if that's actually how, like, I don't know how that's useful at all. Like, it makes no difference because it's not like, it's not like in a 3D game where you need to rotate to see what's behind something. I guess it's just for aesthetics, whichever way you prefer. I guess we'll stay here because this is the way we've built it. It's going to be really confusing otherwise. Um, we'll do it here so then you sort of walk out the end. It doesn't really fit very well though, but... It just seems weird that you have such a big space. And there's no tables or anything. I, I guess it would be, would be tables later on in this game or something, but at the moment there's not a lot. We only have five contractors as well, so we uh, don't have a lot of people to build this. <laughs> They'll show up eventually, I guess. I don't know where they are. Oh, here they come. They're coming with a couple of boxes. It takes a while. Alright, so today's going pretty well. Plus $17,000. Not too shabby at all. Alright, so we get all these things in. These guys are now doing nothing. We're waiting for the other three dudes to come along. These guys are giving me $15 each per passenger, not bad. I like that, I like it, I like it a lot. 
Whoa, look at that frame rate right there. Whoa, really drops off there. <laughs> okay, so you guys are getting that in. And the last bit there. Alrighty, sign a contract with ZD's Italian Kitchen. Alright. Uh, cool. $13 hourly rent per square meter. Summing up to a total hourly rent of 2000 blah blah blah. Receive 13% of each passenger sale. Staff en route. Great. So my workers are just gonna sit there. Is there, like, can I get like some tables or something just to put in there? I mean, trash cans would probably be useful around here too. I wanna see trash cans around this thing here. Uh, maybe like, oh, for a second, we can get some plants. Some nice plants around the place. I don't know, there you go. That's beautiful. Uh, get some plants at the end of these things. No, we can't get one there. Get one there, though. What is that? What? What is... It's like the screen is broken, but there's no screen there. I don't, I don't understand what that is. And it's like a build arrow thing. What does that mean? I, I guess they're broken, but that animation or whatever the thing is doesn't look... How do I fix it? It doesn't... That's... I guess that's just broken. Do it... Because you can't... I can't click on it. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Do I just place over it? Or do I have, like, people that fix it? Or do I have to hire people, like, maintenance? I guess that makes sense, right? Applicants. Janitor, franchise staff. Service technician? Maybe. Get one of these dudes. I'm gonna guess that we need one of these guys to come and fix stuff. Game did not tell me this bit. Let's see if someone comes along and fixes these. It just looks <laughs> the, the, like the, the we, it's just got the weirdest overlay on it. It's like the like cracked glass or something. I don't know why that's. Oh, it's disappeared off this one now. Hmm. Even though it's still got the thing on it. I don't know. Now it's fine. Yeah, that guy must. Have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that that person came and fixed it. I can get two of them. Well, there's any more janitors too, actually. That's what we need. You know, the four of them. Especially the, the amount of people that we have going through the airport now. Alright, so we have this whole food place here now. Oh, okay, cool. Now they're buying. I mean, then they walk around here and do nothing. Because this all here is the store too, but there's nothing to do there. I think, well, like, because it's a cafe, why don't we just get some little seating around here or something? So it's like a little, little coffee house kind of thing. I don't know, like, that makes sense to me, right? It's an airport, so the more seating the better. Let's get a whole bunch of sofas here. We just had a few bigger ones over there. Then maybe we go like here on the end, we go like... Like that. Let's have a small two-seaters. There you go. Alright, so there's a whole, there's just a whole bunch of seating here now. I guess those are red, those are blue. I don't even want to change it, I like it. And then we can like add small plants in the corners, like... Whoops. Like that. Look at this. Beautiful. I think I can put one there because I think these chairs are facing that way. And then we can do like... We go structures. We can go like flooring and we can go... There's like some parquet wooden flooring on the... on the. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the shop should have different flooring. Hell yeah. What would this shop have? This is just like a crappy cafe. What is this? Let's get this. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> what is this? Let's get this. Oh my. Yep, that looks nice. Uh, then we've got like a news... Well, oh, this huge news store. I like how this store is just like empty as well. There's like nothing in it. I wonder if this gets like... These stores get deliveries from like these guys as well. Like, is that where they're coming from? I don't know. Like, do they need to be restocked by... Oh, what we should do... We don't have any more flights coming out. We should get another contract. Otherwise, we're not going to make any money or any... No one's going to come to the airport. All right. Let's go with the best airline we can get. Three stars, three stars. Let's get one of these. Let's go, let's go Maple for class medium. Um, no, but I really, we really need to get both though, because like these don't, you know, these are just 15 medium class flights, which is great. But I really want one that has, because we have all the small gates, we got like four smaller gates that we need to also use. So maybe if we use Stripe Air Small. Because this is going to be... But it also comes with medium. It's kind of weird the way this works. I don't. I just want to. Can I just separate them completely? Or we just get rid of all our small gates eventually. I don't know. Well, let's do this. Let's get five. Uh, I don't know. Whatever that is. So we get five and four. 
I don't know what period that was. And then we'll get one that just has... I don't want to do just medium flight side because that gets... Maybe we get two small contracts. Four and seven. So that's within four days. All right, so within four days on that one. So let me have a look at... Um, hang on. Accepted. Uh, airlines. That's not all the accepted ones. Oh, those are the completed ones. Are those not completed? Oh, no, those are my other contract. Okay, right. It didn't filter properly. That was all. All right, so does it tell me when this needs to be done in this menu somewhere? Because that would be good if you told me, because I don't want to have to go check again. Because these other ones... I think we'll be okay. They're usually a few days, so... Okay, well, we need to go to Sunday. Hang on. Sunday. Sunday isn't Sunday without the Sunday telegraph. Alright, so we're gonna get these guys landing. A few minutes apart, 510. There you go. Uh, medium one. 520, 10 minutes afterwards, that's alright. 530, I guess. That doesn't look like 530, but whatever. Uh, we've got this guy down here. 540. There you go. Beautiful. Look at this. Staggering. 5.50, just to really spread them out a little bit. Uh, this will be 6 a.m., I guess. So these are all going to be done real quick, these flights. This one has to go here because I can't get any closer. Look at that, 9.30 a.m. This is a smaller flight here. So that was, uh, last one was at like 6 or something, wasn't it? So I guess the earliest I can do straight after that is 8, 8.05, which is fine. Okay, so that'll go there. That's all the Stripe Air flights. <laughs> done. 8.15, get some maple air in. 9.20, sure. Really just get these as close as possible. <laughs> get all that sweet, sweet. Like, as far as I'm aware, we haven't had any issues. I don't know why I put that flight there. It really should have been down there. Whoops. We haven't had any issues um, with really packing them together. So I think our airport can handle it at least. 8.40. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a lot of morning flights. I'll tell you that much though. Like all of these and all of those, the morning is gonna be busy. Are these all medium. Oh no, we got another small one. Good. Eight fifty. So this is getting close to one of the other landing times. And one more there. So we've done. We're gonna complete two contracts tomorrow. Maple flights. All right, cool. So there we go. So we'll have a bunch of flights coming in tomorrow. If someone can't reach their place, that's cool. Thank you. Don't care because I think it's okay. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be an issue anyway. Um, alright, so they're building in all that. We've got, yeah, we've got very few people actually doing build work. Are those my maintenance people or something? Employee card. Brenda Johnson. Janitor. I don't know, janitors. I guess they clean up mostly at night because there's no one here. Well, they finish their work at night. Who are you? Airport staff. Oh, okay. Just hanging out. Uh, we do have staff areas. I wonder if we make like a staff room if they just go and sit in it. Because, I mean, that would make sense, right? Let's do it. I don't know if we need to do it. But I kind of don't like them sitting in the middle of the airport. It's kind of weird. So foundation. Let's do a staff room here that comes like off of that. Because uh, staff can go through security, no problem. I think. Or at least the workers can. Like the, the builders. Oh, the janitors just did too. So I think that's fine. No, it's gonna, actually, that's going to take ages to build with just with no one here. Hang on. Staff. The board shifts. No, we want to go operations. Deploy all. Uh, so we're going to have... Total structures, deploy contract is five. Oh no, they're arriving now. Okay, good. All right, so here come all my contractors. Come do the work. Oh, here they are. Because that would take a million years to do if we didn't have all these guys here. All right, structures. We're going to go for a door. Yeah, like a, what is it? Like a small door though, right? No, oh, that's not a door. Sorry, that's floor. Small door. Small door hotel. All right, so this area here is going to be... Oh, yeah, there is actually a staff room thing as well. I thought there was something like that. Anyway, that's going to be staff only. And it's going to be a staff room. Defines a room where staff perform jobs or relax in when there is nothing to do. Okay. Closed room. Requirements fulfilled. Allowed staff types. Oh, you can make specific staff rooms. Like, of every staff type. Which is kind of cool. Um, well, I mean, I'll just get... I'm just going to put sofas in here, to be honest, like... That's all there is to do, so... Not much else I can put in a staff room. Like, I'll... <laughs> I'd love to get some nice stuff in here for you guys, but... I'll do my best. At least I won't stand around the airport anymore. I guess that makes sense. Fridge display. No, we don't want that. Really, all we can do is, like, furniture and... A bathroom, I guess, we could do? But I don't think they use the bathroom, so I'm not going to bother. 
We got like a nice little group setting. Look at that, beautiful. Uh, uh, like that. It doesn't line up very well with everything else, but you know, I'm doing my best, so whatever. Then we'll have like the loner seating here. You sit by yourself with no other staff friends, but you can look at them. Get a small plan in there, and in there, and there. Oh, I should get rid of that one because that looked weird. And then we can get some more sofas over here. They're all tired. There's nowhere to sit yet, but they, they will be. When, there's, when the seats eventually arrive, they'll be able to sit down. There you go, guys. Enjoy your little staff room. That'll be so good. Alright, let's get some flooring. Um, we'll, give them, we'll give them like a wooden floor. Like this. It's kind of... Do they have, um, I guess they don't have airline lounges yet, because that would be cool if they add those in. <laughs> Build like airline lounges for like maple and that. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, anyway, so the guys can go there. Now they can sit down. I assume sitting down makes them less tired. I'm, I'm just guessing is how that works. Uh, my contractors don't sit down, do they? Well, no, I think they did. There you go. Oh, look, now the order's going in here because I got nothing to do. Alright, sweet. Enjoy the staff room, guys. Alright, well, uh, what else do we need to do? Um,. Help. Is there anything in help? Conveyor belt system. That's right. We haven't even started that yet. Okay. Right. Okay. Step one. Go to the procurement tab in the economy panel and procure the baggage handling upgrade. I guess that makes sense. I like how I'm actually learning how to play this game now. It's great. Order now. Awaiting order. I guess we, no, we, we don't have any fuel trucks. We don't need fuel trucks, so we're not doing refueling yet. Uh, so we need the baggage handling. Uh, baggage handling service. Unlock now. Oh. Requirements. COO. Okay, fair enough. The uh, staff, the board, we need a COO. Applications open. Uh, Chief Operations Officer. Uh, well, I'm just gonna get you. Boris. What up, Boris? Alright, uh, economy, procurement, we want to go for our baggage handling. Product unlocked. Good. Hey, we got like $400,000 again. That's good. We actually made money. So worried that we were gonna go to bankrupt at some point. Unlock now. 19 hours! Oh, man. What are we supposed to do for 19 hours? I guess we're waiting for flights to come in. There's a lot of people here though, which is good. Are people going to use my little cafe? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. This store is like empty as hell, but... <laughs> I don't know why I use such big shells. It's like literally... Oh, you know what? I've just realized how those shells work. Mm, that's like a center column. It goes, it goes in the middle of a room. Yep, that makes a lot more sense. I was wondering how that, how I was like, how do you get to the back? I just realized by looking at it, with my eyes, that it should be in the center of a room. So if we move them in all, it would be much better. How many do we have? Because we need 19 in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think we just have to get, I think what I'm going to have to do is actually just change all of these. The contract is not going to be happy about that, uh, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to move those. So if we do a medium shelf, obviously these go in the middle as well. So we could even do like this and this, right? Is there a gap in the middle if I do that? There is. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, only 18! I need 19 though! And a small shelf there. <laughs> 19. Alright, there you go. So they're not going to be happy about that right now. But, uh, give them a second and they'll, they'll be okay. Get all those back in. Yeah, I want to change the floor in here too, actually. I guess while we're waiting for the other thing to unlock. Maybe like this wooden floor? Let's do a different wooden floor everywhere, why not? Kind of nice, there you go. Kind of like a bookstore kind of place. I don't know, these guys aren't even building. I guess we're waiting for the delivery. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so they're putting the shelves in now. Oh, there they go. Hey, they're, they're getting stocked. Good. Fantastic. Much better. All right, now that makes sense. Sorry about that. Uh, I learned how to do it at least. And there go all my contractors just sitting in that room there. Paying for nothing is what I am doing. Anyone gonna go here? I feel like no one ever goes here. Contract not completed. I'm aware. It's only been a few days. Um, cool. So we got a staff room. We got all that. We got security rolling. We got a lot of people waiting for buses down here. But we got a few bus stops. At least they're not queuing across the road like they used to be. Not a lot of people use the the public pickup like with cars. I don't know if it's just because maybe we don't have that many. Is that why the car drop off? Do we, or is it just not many people actually use it? 
It's fine if they don't use it. It's just I don't, I don't know. Uh, oh. The flight is running late. Do you want to delay it by an hour? Um, can I do that? Like, SA986. Which one is that? Wait, SA986. This one here. If we delay it, then that one's going to be screwed up. Hmm. Well, what we can do is... Can I... Oh, can I not... Like, I know I scheduled it in, but can I change it? Yes. Okay, but here's the thing. Like, I know I clicked confirm, but how do I edit it? Reschedule. Oh. Did I click that one? This operate... This option is not support yet. <laughs> well, the text is not English yet either. Sorry, this option is not support yet. Okay, so I can't actually reschedule it because it's not in the game yet. Alright, fair enough. Uh, well... Hopefully we'll be okay. <laughs> I guess that's the thing when we, uh... Really pack in the flights. Maybe we should expand the terminal a little bit. And get like, uh... Some more gates just for backup gates. So then we can have some more time between each flight. So I guess, yeah, when you pack them together like that, it's, a, it's definitely a risk. Because now we have an aircraft here. Oh no, is that going to go there? We have a lot. Oh no, they're all taking off. So, is that going there? That's going there. Okay, that's good. Alright. It's not too bad. Here comes an aircraft too. Hopefully, maybe it just works itself out. I don't know. I mean, they seem to be okay. Okay. That guy's just waiting for that aircraft. That's fine. Yeah, they kind of have to... Because we got so many aircraft using the... Freaking taxiways too, so they have to wait a long time. Okay, cool. How's this going, by the way? Do we need a... I'll repair it for 4,000 bucks. I mean, it doesn't cost much, so might as well. Um, alright. Do these need... Do I have to, like, actually just go around and hit repair? $19,000. Man, that's an expensive repair. Guess we might as well, though, right? 6,000 bucks. 6,000. Before we build anything new, we should probably you know, spend money repairing stuff. Well, we've never used a vehicle depot, so I, I don't even know why we have that. I got- oh, baggage system! How's that going? <laughs> Can we do that yet? Oh, I think I just left the thing. Um... Oh, still 10 hours left? Man, that takes ages. I was hoping we get that done this episode, but I guess not. That'll have to be next time. Maybe in the meantime, we build some more gates. Uh, let's have a look. So, items... I think we need another... Um, I think what we should do... Is that going up this way? So maybe if we can get this gate, or maybe if we can get like a smaller gate. Well, we're gonna have, let's build all the stuff we need first. So taxiway foundation, um, concrete. Sorry, we got the five wide. So that would have to come down like this. Because I want to go like this, so it comes all the way down, except for there, because we'll have a service road coming through here somewhere. It goes down there. I just want to see where this is all gonna fit. Small stand. Uh, see, actually, I kind of want this here. And then we go around the corner? Or maybe not. Maybe we just go straight around the corner like this. Get three of them there. So three small, uh, more small stands. Then we get a medium stand. Here. Oh, sorry, wrong way. Oh, man. I thought, I thought there was a problem there. Oh, wow. That's a <laughs> bit laggy. There's probably a lot of people moving around. Um, so what are you beeping at me at? Uh, recipe... Wait, what? Re recipe. Receipt. Not recipe. I re oh, what? Jesus! Oh, I guess that's just because my construction. <laughs> Mine is 142,000 an hour. Oh, yeah, there we go. Back to normal. Back to normal! <laughs> Taxiway foundation. Make sure it's concrete. So that's going to be five wide there. I think we're going to need to put it there as well. And then I'll build in that service road when we need it. I, I mean, I've not seen anything use it, but I guess when we start doing aircraft refueling, that's when we're going to need that service road. So we'll make sure that's all connected up before we do anything else. Alrighty. This probably might be a wise idea to have another taxiway as well. So the aircraft can go the other way. Because we've... we've no, well, at least I've noticed a lot of them sort of hanging around here at some point. Um, so it might actually go concrete. Have this one actually run this way. Ooh, hefty price. It's a price I'm willing to pay though. 
And then, we're gonna go, well, I guess I'll wait till that's built. Ah, oh, I didn't build any bloody concrete under these. They keep forgetting to do that. So I gotta spend an extra- oh, okay. You know what? I should probably stop spending money. Uh, <laughs> should probably stop spending money for a little bit, because that was expensive! Uh, that's alright. As long as I don't send myself into freaking bankruptcy, we should be okay. Anyway, so this is gonna come around this way. I'm gonna go, oops, gonna head up. There, this is gonna come around. Because then what we can do as well, we can do... Oh, no we don't, no we don't want that. That's not what we want. Never mind. That's just when there's... Uh, they did say you can do multiple holding points, but it kind of, because it says runway ahead, I don't really want that there. But anyway, so they can go around that way as well, which I think would be good. So we'll extend the terminal up and around this way. Might be an idea to get another check-in section over here. I don't know if that's even something you can do as like a separate check-in area. I mean, I guess so. I don't know how it would work though, but we'll try it out. Right, so actually, how are we looking with flights? So this is, that was all of today. We don't have anything tomorrow, do we? So we should probably have a look at getting another contract. I just do, do I mean, we could, we don't have to do this day by day. We could just schedule a lot of them at once. Uh, let's go, hang on, offered airlines. Uh, medium, cheap. Medium. I just don't want medium. Let's get small Skylink. So three and that. Cool. Within four days. Okay, well that's easy. Small. Within three days. Also easy. Could probably do it with all within tomorrow. All right. So, uh, Monday. CLM. What up, bro? Confirm. Uh, we'll have them landing a little bit apart like we were before. Always a good idea. And then I'll see, maybe it'd be a good idea to have them have a little bit more of a gap between the flights because we did start getting some delays, which is not what we really want to have. Just because, I guess because the amount of people in the airport was becoming too much to handle. So we'll just like leave some bigger gaps this time around. <laughs> Alright, that's CLM, done. Then we need to get Skylink. What up, Skylink? Get in here, bruh. You can go around here somewhere. That sounds good to me. These are just randomly put in. I'm an uh, expert flight scheduler. That's my name. I know exactly when to put flights and where they should go. Alright, so this is, this is, to me, this is just looking like money. This is just money bags. It's like in a cartoon where my eyes just turn into money bags. That's what this is. Oh, no. Let's go over to Tuesday. It's good that you can schedule like a week in advance, so you could really get a full schedule going and really get into it. Anyway, that's all of tomorrow scheduled, so that's good. So we should keep making money at least, which is nice. Uh, anyway, so how are these guys going down here? Still another flight here ready to go. So this is going to, oh, it's going over to Perth. Flying to Perth. That's cool. Next arrival, not available. Frequency, once. Status, taxiing. Is it though? Is it though? Because it is sitting there. Oh, there it goes. Now it's taxiing. Off to Perth! At... 9pm. So it goes up that way. That's not even all built yet. They're still frantically building all of this. Alrighty. And... Foo I don't think I've seen anyone take off this way. Because like, this runway is used in both directions. But I've only ever seen them go with the one way. Upgrades. Build Pappy lights. Yes, Pappy! I don't know that I don't need to. You've not unlocked this area yet. Oh, no. I, need, I don't think I need Pappy Lights. I can't remember what they actually stand for. It's something, it's something good. But... <laughs> all I can think of was Pappy. Um, alright. Uh, that's probably good. I think that's probably good for now, because I think that means we, we must be pretty close to uh, having our... ...thing, if not already getting it, right? My baggage. Where's me baggage? Oh, one hour, thirty minutes. Alright, well that'll be next episode. We'll get some actual baggage handling. So I think we'll get, if we get baggage handling up and running, that means we can then, then we'll build this area here and extend the number of gates we have, get some more flights running in it. Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I think then the biggest issue with this is the check-in. I think we really should move that so it's like here, in this whole area here, and have like an entrance there. Just because that's obviously very limited in size. We can't actually make that any bigger there. It's probably better, instead of trying to work with that, is just move it. Because the, they can still, we'd still be able to have a pathway to security, that wouldn't be any problem. Check in there, security there. We can have security on that side, security on this side, so two stations. You can go either way, depending which way you need to go. That'll probably be a good idea. But until then, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.